Hey guys, I'm, uh, I'm Nick Pinkston with CloudFab, and here I'm about to tell you what, um, you know, that the next thing is hardware and is now the new software. So, so I'm not just reading this comic and saying, yeah, this is funny. I read this comic and say, this is my life. That we all should be able to go, sudo make me something, such as a sandwich, and have it come into reality. And that hardware is actually going to be this in 2021. And they've actually made, this is sudo make me a sandwich as a machine. You can type it in and you will get a grilled cheese. And this is not just grilled cheese, it's everything. So, come with me to 2021 and you will now see what we can do with open hardware. Because the revolution will be fabricated. And I don't mean fake, I mean fabbed. And so essentially what will happen is, is just like software has been democratized, we're going to have hardware democratized. And like we had cloud computing, we'll have cloud manufacturing. And that's what the world in 2021 is. The long tail of media that we have now will be for You know, we'll have a cell phone like OpenMoco, right? But you can actually do not just colors, you can do options on it, physical options. This is the long tail of things. This is the next thing in 2021. So mass customization coming out. By 2021, this is total mainstream. From Coke to jewelry, you'll be able to option out and control what physical products actually are. And so that's sort of the dream that open hardware and just agile hardware in general is. So if we look at sort of what's coming, cheap fab, so cheap manufacturing, getting commodity manufacturing. So we no longer have huge startup costs. We need easy, just you know, one off, the same as a million. So that's what cheap fab drives, cheap 3D printing, laser cutting, all of that. So the moving from cheap fab, though, we need ways to do cheap prototyping. So guys like MakerBot, they're going to democratize prototyping right down to the level where anyone can afford it. So we're going to get mature machines, just like today's commercial machines, but they're going to be for everyone. And anyone who wants one will have one, like a sewing machine, essentially. So, I mean, for printable electronics, this isn't just plastic, right? We can print now in 2021. We can print directly in conductive inks. So we don't have to have all this circuit board manufacturing democratized so all of our devices can be done this way and so what we can do is now we're gonna have local fabbers all over the country it's gonna be like Kinkos and you're gonna have the means of production where you live so when you make something or you prototype something it can be manufactured on demand and so we see that from beyond local fabbing we're gonna see this move into sort of everyday life schools will have fab labs and the kids, this is already happening, but 2021, this will be normal. And if the schools don't adapt, the after-school programs will. And what we'll have is these kids having skills in sort of fabrication and manufacturing literacy. And so one of the drivers of this is right now, CAD software needs to be free as in beer and free as in freedom. And so we're going to have, by 2021, open formats. And we're going to have CAD that actually works for us and not the corporations. And that's what we can do to build this new world of hardware. We need open standards so we can have 3D files, all the manufacturing files as standard formats coming out of this CAD software. And this will be a reality in 10 years, certainly. We're going to trade these like MP3s. You wouldn't download a car, but now you can. You can actually download right now local motors, open source cars. The future will have all of this. This is actually the car you can download. But you might not even need to download it, actually. You can actually rip it with your cell phone. 3D scanners will be actually able to fully capture objects, and then you'll be able to search for them or make them. This is the future in 2021, guys. It's going to be awesome. It's going, it's going. We're going to have so many hardware startups. We're going to need incubators for them. We're going to have Paul Graham, Dale Doherty, bring these guys together and make the Y Combinator of hardware to accelerate these companies. This is coming. It's going to be a sweet world. We're going to have fab labs that come out of like the hacker spaces. We're going to have medical companies making organs that are going to go into us. This happens today, but it's going to be mainstream in 10 years. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> So the, the whole sort of like, there's going to be like the 3D printing hipsters that are saying that 3D printing is so old school. We have voxel printing, which means you can place these individual little Lego blocks like Mindstorm and you can make electronics with your plastic. This is coming. This is going to be the new thing. So if you like this future, you have to check out Make Magazine. See the products that we're already having today, 2011, you can do this stuff. If you want to actually get involved and make products and make projects from stuff, you want to hit Wait for it. Maker Shed. 
And Maker Shed is a great place. It's like the indie label of this open hardware movement. And we're going to be able to have, right now, you can order the boards and make things. You can order stuff you know, from you know, one of these companies like Pinoco, and you can get this, integrate it, and make your own products. But beyond that, you have to go to sort of the Woodstock of makers, and that is Maker Fair. So I really encourage you guys, go out to Maker Fair. We've got them in Bay Area, New York, Detroit. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, guys. I love to ignite. <laughs>